So it's James Faiva playing at full back today. Gets us underway for Tonga, normally to be found in the out half shirt, which today is filled by Tonga's most experienced player. Forcing the Tongans to soak in defence. Sione Topolotu, whose father's Tongan, he's got a granny from Greenock, that's how he qualifies for the dark blue shirts. Now Jamie Hodgson. Another man on debut, here's Ali Price, and it was Jamie Ritchie, man and ball, Rufus McCray, oh my goodness, he just pinballs his way off Tongan defenders, what energy and power. And it's come back from Schumann, look at the situation, I think we are looking at this. And that's the actual blistering run. Okay, hold up. We're just going to check a potential knock on in the lead. Well, in Scotland, whipping the ball quickly into midfield. Here's Rufus McLean. Can he get a second try? Oh my heavens! What a debut for the left winger! Two on the board already. The young fellas on a hat trick with just 15 minutes gone. Watch this. Whoa! There you go, big fella. No Johnny Gray, Finn Russell. Duhan van der Merwe, Chris Harris, who played for Gloucester last night, Rory Sutherland, Ali Price, Blair Kinghorn. And they're in here, they're going to be in here, simple as you like for Kyle Steen, and it's the wingers who've scored all the tries so far. The bookies had him at 40 points, they've done well, there he goes, he just straightens the man up there and then it's just a matter of two or three, he can put the ball back out the back, he doesn't need to. Eventually staying gets it. There he goes, just straight holes. You see, Marath is held by another guy. Tupalutu. Easy rugby. Like I said, the bookie get him at 40. It's just a matter Diggerson of time. Diggerson looks to get underneath here. Schumann is next. He's a thunderous ball carrier. We've seen it for Embra so many times. If he gets close to the line, he just dips that gargantuan shoulder into defenders. And over he goes. All body positions, it's low, whatever. Tonga aren't quite low enough. They're not there in the bigger numbers. The bear needs really to be in the first bloke. And Nick Berry had no other option to water pan. George Turner. Hodgson climbs. Miss out to Paluto. And in comes Kyle Steen. Coasting his way through a very heavily fractured Tonga defence. And all he had to do was step on the gas because the gap was there. I think he liked that, didn't he? That is, it's a good handoff, but you, you've got to be stronger. He's actually drifting away as well. It's not if he's direct. George Turner, I think, still uh, there. He is. Still has the ball. Over they go. No problems for that Scottish pack. Pummeling their way through the Tonga defence. Easy Scott, it's exactly the right thing. I know they did in disarray Tonga in the midfield, they've had injuries there. But actually just go up the guts, go straight for it and get that try. This is where you need that South Sea Island power. Bit of... Tongan titanium on the line! And look how much it means to this Tongan side! They fevered and battled away at that Scottish white line, and they've got the reward. And have they slipped through here? No, not quite. Kevo, yes. They get their once more. They take that most direct of routes. They'll only drop it. That's what the forwards will say. Turner's got one. Hayning's got one. Kevo's got one. Almost from the same. The worker bees there. There's the one more score here for Scotland, taken by another man, Marshall Sykes. And here goes Kyle Steen! It is try number four! The first Scotsman to score four tries for his country since Gavin Hastings against the Ivory Coast away back in 1995. Well, definitely on a bench because, again, his performance has been great. All the back three, the starting back three has been superb. Graham, Stain, McLean. Short journey to the try line. And that will be that. After 81 and a half minutes here at Murrayfield, in front of a very, very healthy sized crowd, the first time they've had fans in this stadium for 20 months.